Today we install a powerful upgrade servo for the Armor Granite, give it a steering test, and take the granite out for that. This is the Armor Granite 4x4 BLX V3, and today we have the Zoske 35kg Amazon servo to be putting into it. Guys, this servo is actually a great price. It's around 35 bucks, which is amazing for this servo, and it actually is measured at 35 kilograms. Most Amazon servos claim that they are much higher torque than they actually are, but this thing actually is 35 kilograms, guys. It's gonna be great in the granite. So today we're gonna be upgrading it. I'm super excited, so let's get to it. All right, guys, first for a little quick overview, you get your servo. So it's a coreless digital servo. It's a metal geared servo, 35 kilograms. It's also like really nice and weighted down. It's, it's not that light, it feels kind of heavy. Also, if you can see there, it says it's waterproof, which is great because you need that for a granite because you're gonna want to take it through some puddles, of course. You got all your servo horns and steering arms and everything. So everything looks really nice, really high quality. There's a link down below if you want to pick this up too. Now the old servo is 15 kilograms, so this is 35, so this is gonna really be pumping out a lot of torque. It's gonna really improve our steering, but that is enough talking, so let's get into installing the upgrade servo. All right guys, we have the servo all installed into the granite. Everything's good, we screwed everything back in. And now I really quickly wanna show you the power this servo has. So we're gonna turn on our radio. Turn on the car. Now guys, watch this power. First of all, you can hear a big difference. You hear all that power. It's like a higher pitched noise. That does mean that it's putting out more power. And also, if you guys haven't seen older footage of this granite with the stock servo, it goes way slower and has way less power. So 15 kilograms compared to 35 makes a big difference. Now we did run into some issues installing the 35 kilogram servo. The spline should have fit right over the servo saver, but turns out guys, the spline doesn't actually fit. This actually has a 25 tooth spline. The stock servo only has a 23 tooth. So that kind of sucks. What we had to do is we had to use the servo saver it comes with. And thank God it came with that because if it did not, we would not have been able to install this awesome servo. So that will require a little bit of extra maintenance when you're installing this. But guys, in the end, it's really awesome. I mean, it's definitely worth the hassle. But anyway, that's enough talking. So let's go outside and let's bash the granite with the upgrade servo.
All right, guys, we're outside now with the Arma Granite, and we're going to be testing to see how the servo performs while we bash it. As you guys saw, we have the servo installed right there, 35 kilograms. I'm super excited to run it for the first time on this new servo. Today, we're running on the 50C Dynamite Hardcase 3S LiPo battery. We're going to put it in in three, two, one. All right, we got it in, so now we're going to turn on the radio, plug in the battery, turn on the car. Oh my gosh, guys, that servo is doing way better than the stock one ever did in this grass. All right, let's run it. Dang, this thing. I will admit, guys, I've not ran this granite in a very, very long time because actually the input gear and the differential stripped. So we had to replace all that, put it all back together and put it back in. So that was a while ago, but now it's finally fixed. And guys, we do need to explain a couple of things. So as a matter of fact, the stock servo horn or servo saber does not actually fit on this new servo. You need to use the metal piece it comes with. So we actually had to shave it down and sand it down kind of. And that was the only way it could actually fit. So that's all you guys really need to know. So now let's continue driving. So obviously turning circle is about the same. We've got loads more power. So we got some jumps here, guys. So we're gonna be able to jump this a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, a little bit of a tumble. Spit over. Oh! Well, there it goes. Whoa. By the way, we got all things as wheels here. <laughs> Listen to that steering. It sounds so much more powerful. Yeah, so this servo has a ton more torque. It's a great upgrade if you're willing to do all the maintenance it requires. Oh! <laughs> oh! Dang, that curb's honestly doing better than these hills were. <laughs> But servo, as you can see, holds up in a bash. You never want your servo just dying while you're trying to take it to like a skate park. Keep, oh my god, I keep doing that. That power. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tumble. Aw. <laughs> see how far this goes. Oh! Alright, guys, one final jump. all right guys we're back from that awesome bash with the granite and let me tell you that servo performed pretty great like i said when we were driving it you can see that this servo does hold up in a bash which is really what you want with these rc vehicles the 35 kilogram servo does require a lot more maintenance than maybe one that has the same size spline. But in my opinion, it is worth it in the end because this thing delivers so much more torque. Now, it's a great upgrade. There's a link down below to it on Amazon. It's a great servo. I definitely recommend it. In the end, it really is your choice. There are a ton of other upgrade servos on Amazon that will fit on the granite stock spline. So that's pretty cool. But all of those are around 20 kilograms, 25 kilograms. So this one was 35. And if you are prepared to do all the maintenance it requires, in the end, guys, it's an amazing servo and probably my favorite upgrade Amazon servo in the end. Really though, guys, this thing has been put in X Maxes, 6 SBLX models. It fits in those cars. So getting it to fit in here means we're going to be pumping out a lot of torque. And really in the end, there isn't much maintenance required. So it's pretty easy to install. All you got to do is shave down that piece. So kind of like a little bit of a mod, but in the end, it all works out. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. We want to thank you for watching. We're almost to 600 subscribers. You guys are incredible. Thanks so much for getting us to that amount. So make sure to keep subscribing if you're new. We love to see our channel grow. But thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Goodbye.